So here I'm going to show you the basics of the assignment feature in Canvas. So right here uh, in this box, you can do anything. You can embed Google Slides by using the HTML editor. This is the HTML editor and switch it back and forth. You can add external links. Um, to do that, you can also use the control K. You can upload images, upload media, record media, upload documents. Um, you can select stuff from your Google Drive. Now, if you do it through here, it won't make a copy for each student. FYI, it's just a reference document. Then the next thing at the bottom, you can you put the number of points. You have the different assignment groups. So here you can select which assignment group it goes to. You can have the grades displaced as percentage, complete, incomplete, letter grade, GPA, non-graded. Um, you can select, do not count this assignment towards the final grade. If you select this, the students won't know. Um, the submission type, so there's three, four different submission types. No submission, where the students don't have anything to do. Online, where you have these five options. And you can view the document that I shared, where it shows you the different uh, assignments and what they're, and how you can use them how many times they're allowed to retake it you can limit it so here you can limit it to one or they can return it in as many times this is um it's a group assignment i have not used this before so i can't speak to it that much um peer review so if you select this then once the students turn it in so here, so once to turn it, turn it in, you can manually assign the peer reviews or they can automatically assign and you can have it be anonymous. So the students will get a notification when there's one available for them to grade. And then here is where you can select who gets the assignment. Um, so you can specifically select, select certain sections or specific students. That's a way to differentiate. And you can have different due dates. So here, and then I can have this one do the 13th, and then I can have this one do the 9th or 16th. And um, then you would hit save. And you can add as many as you need. So you can definitely have different due dates. HTML editor is right here and you have all these little different formats of how you can format your directions and your interface right here. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I hope this was helpful.